So when you're done fishing at Lee's Ferry, um, when you catch your brown trout and you want to turn it in for your incentivized harvest reward, um, we have a couple of these fish process processing stations down by the ramp. And what we want you to do by the fish processing station, there's a data card we want you to fill out. It's got your name, your address. You can have up to four fish per data card. We also want you to put the river length on there, or uh, the section of the river you caught the fish in. There is a map on the back of the data card. You can um, pinpoint um, where you caught the fish at. What we want to collect from you is the head of the fish, and we also want the entrails of the fish. And the reason why we want the entrails is there's a lot of studies going on out here um, by the state of Arizona and some federal agencies on uh, monitoring the fish population in Lee's Ferry. And a lot of these fish have had a pit tag inserted into their uh, abdominal cavity. And so this pit tag um, gives each fish a unique identification number. And by doing that, we can track uh, the, when the fish was tagged, how big the fish was when it was tagged, um, and then the time you harvested it. So what we will do is we'll take that pit tag information and we can remove it from the database so we can help get us a better accurate of the population of brown trout or uh, fish in general in the least Ferry Reach. Once you get here, we want the fish length. To do the fish length, you want to put the fish um, up against the, the measuring board, the head here. You want to pinch the tail down and we want it to the nearest uh, quarter of an inch. This one happens to be 13 and a half inches long. I happen to have a pit tag scanner to see if this one has a pit tag in it. And if it does, we will remove it along with the entrails and we'll show you what a pit tag looks like. So that beep indicates that there is a pit tag in here. So once we cut the head off and the entrails, um, I'll look for those pit tag um, before we put it into our uh, fish bag. Um, when you process these fish, preferably I would like to have one fish head and entrails per bag. And each bag will have a uh, tag associated with it with a fish number associated with the, the fish number on here. So one through four. So this is gonna be a little messier than normal because I'm actually gonna look for that pit tag. This happens to be a male. It's a mature male. Oh, here's the pit tag right here. When you submit the entrails, um, scan the body cavity to make sure that pit tag is not stuck up underneath some membrane between the abdomen and the, and the meat tissue. But this is the pit tag. It's about the diameter of a dime, about the width of a dime. Um, so it's pretty small. It's a little encased uh, glass tube. Some months we have different incentives each month. Um, right now the current reward is $33 per fish. Um, that's not gonna be the same every month. I know in December and in January, we're gonna have a, a brown trout bonanza again during their spawning season. So we will have different incentives um, at that time for different rewards. So it might be the most fish, the biggest fish, or something like that. So yeah, when you process your fish, fish head, all the entrails that you can get. Preferably, I would like the sex organs because I like to be able to tell what proportion of the population we're harvesting, um, uh, males versus females. And again, when you clean your fish, check the inside of the fish for that pit tag um, to see if it's not still stuck in there. And then after you have your data card fill out, like I said earlier, just put a number one on here because this is the first fish um, on that data card. To keep the data card from getting all messed up, I'll uh, put everything inside a larger bag. Once you're done here, right now we're at the Lee's Ferry boat ramp, um, about five miles up on the main highway, there is the uh, Navajo Bridge Visitor Center. And when you pull into that parking lot, you'll see a sign, Incentivize Harvest Brown Trout Program. There'll be a, a sign direct you to the right, and there's a little courtyard with, with an open door there. You go through this little door. Um, we've got another fish processing center here in case you want to bring your whole fish here and work it up here. Just to the left of that, we've got a little drop box. There's a freezer down here. You put your fish head in here. Um, these fish are collected daily and, and put into a secure location. 
At the end of the month, I collect these fish and process those, work them up at the, the first couple weeks of uh, the following month that you har harvested those fish, and then you should receive your check uh, by the middle of the following month you harvested your fish. My name is Jeff Arnold and I'm with the National Park Service. I'm a fisheries biologist here at Glen Canyon National Recreation Area and I hope to see you out here, um, you and your family having fun.